Okay, so what we're going to do about this problem, the no box behind here, is we have a back plate here that we're going to open up the knock on the back. And we'll put a Romex connector. Even though the loose wires are in the wall, the walls are all finished and they're not tearing them apart. So I'm going to just do the best I can with what I can do from this side. So we're going to put a Romex connector on here. Make sure it's nice and tight. We're just going to see if we can get these three wires to come through. Piece of jacket here. Good, but if not, you can't. Don't worry about what you can't do, just focus on what you can do. It looks like it's not gonna work. Maybe I'll try a shorter piece here. I'll get this paper out of here. But if I can't, I can't. I'm not gonna frustrate. It is what it is. It doesn't go, it doesn't go. You don't worry about it, you don't frustrate. Hey, it's gonna go. So, that is a nice thing to have happen. And it went. So, we will put this on here like this. We'll put our plate in here like this. Where's the Phillips? It's not there, so I'm going to just use the flathead. I'm not going to frustrate. Never frustrate over material things. You just don't do that. The truck forward, not backwards. So we'll put our connector on here. Just a little more time consuming, not having what I need right in front of me, so. Don't worry about it, don't frustrate, just drop forward, not backwards. Everything is what it is. You just do the best you can. Okay, it's flat in there, nothing's pinched. So now we can put this on. We'll put this up under here the way it should be. And we'll push this back down. In there like that, and it's gonna go in nice and tight. There, everything fit in nice and tight. It would be nice if there were screws when you need them, but if you there aren't, there aren't. This one in at an angle so I hit some wood. Okay, we got our box up the way we want it. Okay, so now we'll get our ground wires together.
Okay, so we'll put our ground wires back like this. Now we'll keep our, our ground down here. Put our blacks together up here. black wires together, get our insulation even at the top here. It's nice and tight. You always strip your wire with the size that matches the uh, wire size. Get our first two started with the insulation even at the bottom here. Bring the third one in. Insulation even at the bottom. Bring my fourth one in. Twist it in so it's all nice and even here. Flip them so even on the end here. Now look, all four are even on the end. We'll put our wire nut on. <clears throat> Make sure it's nice and tight. <clears throat> we'll fold it back into our box. We bought an extra deep box. Hopefully there's screws with it. And yes, there is screws. So we'll knock out our two little tabbies here. Put the wire mold. I got a nice deep one so I don't force any of the wires. Fit there without force. Oh, nice! They gave us some extra screws. That is nice. Not often we get that. channel on both sides here. Now we can close the screws we're not going to be using on our outlet. Now we can hook our outlet up. White is neutral. 
black is live. So first we'll put our bare wire on the green screw. Silver colored screw. Go in the direction that the screw turns. Okay, we have a nice connection there. Okay, we'll bring it around. Now we're going to fold and push this ground wire down into the bottom of the box so it stays away from everything. Now we can put our black on the brass screw. Make our loop the direction that the screw turns. Make sure it's nice and tight. Push everything back. All right, now we can fold our wires into our box, keeping our ground wire down away from everything. take that out and I'll cut it down because I, I refuse to fight I just refuse to you don't frustrate you don't fight with material things you get them done just do what you got to do to get it done as long as you don't violate safety here we go got it in make sure it's tight Our wires are all clear of everything 